Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Where is Zur, IGN's weekly show where we find Zur and we look at his inventory together. I am Ty Guy Travis and as usual we will be finding Zur. Today he is in the EDZ over here on the Winding Cove. You will kind of find him on a cliff's edge through a cave. Let's go and pay that man a visit. All right, once you touch down on the Winding Cove, go ahead and hop on your sparrow, go straight ahead, hang a right, and then go through a cave and you'll find Zur up on a cliff's edge. All right, here's that delightful Boyo himself. Let's go ahead and get in his inventory and see what he's selling. So first up, he's got the Lord of Wolves. This is a great shotgun. If you don't have it, you should grab it. Um, he's got Raiju's Harness. He sold this a couple weeks ago. It's about kind of the same mid-type roll. I probably wouldn't pick this up. Anything 62, not great. It also doesn't have a uh, particularly high, um, like, spikiness. You know, it's got 20 intellect, which is okay, pretty good. Um, but, yeah, you can see overall it's just sort of underwhelming, especially for an exotic. Uh, same with Doomfang Pauldron. Uh, this one's got high resilience, which is currently the most important stat in the game, so that's definitely better. Uh, however, with 63 overall, you could do better. Uh, and then finally, Felwinter's Helm. Uh, this is a pretty good exotic, but uh, with 24 intellect and not a lot else to recommend it. As you can see, all of the exotics this week, pretty low rolls, pretty underwhelming. If you need these exotics, you can certainly grab them, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're looking for a spiky or a high roll. Let's move on to legendary weapons, which is much better this week than the armor. Um, we've got False Promises. This one's pretty good. Feeding Frenzy, Eye of the Storm. Uh, neither of those are bad to have on auto rifles. I'd probably put it in sort of a mid-roll overall, though. Let's check here. Yeah, it's got Armor Piercing Round, so this is pretty good, actually. Um, stability, which is great on uh, on auto rifles. Uh, consider picking this one up. A lot of these weapons are, are pretty decent uh, this week, actually. Uh, Chrysler Mello, this one is an example of one that's not as good. I'd probably skip over this one with Encore and Harmony, neither of which are uh, particularly fantastic uh, perks. Yeah, just check in here. Yeah, I'd probably skip over this one. Nature of the Beast, this is one of my picks this week. As uh, some of you guys know, if you watch the show at all, uh, I am a PvP main, so high impact reserves, quick draw, extended mag, handling. This could be a pretty decent... Uh, PvP hand cannon. I probably will be trying this one out just to, to check it out. And then we've got ignition code. Um, I like this grenade launcher. It has spike grenades, which is very important. Ambitious assassin could be pretty good uh, with this combo. And thresh, which uh, always good, always a good perk. It's also got reload speed masterwork, which is my choice of masterwork on grenade launcher. So overall, this is pretty dang good. I would consider picking this up if I were you. Uh, and then Fractithis, this is one I think we're going to skip over. I don't really like the role Ensemble, Adrenaline Junkie. Eh, it's okay. We've definitely seen better roles of Fractithis from Xur before. Blast Batu. So I'll be honest, I've not used this weapon before, um, but it, this role seems pretty good. Spike Grenades, Moving Target. Rampage and a reload masterwork. I kind of saw this and was like, well, look, I've, I've not used this weapon before, but I'm, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to pick this one up and see how it performs. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I really like the, uh, the role in that one. And then finally, the Keening. It's got Slide Shot. It's got Vorpal Weapon. Uh, those are pretty good perks. Sliding around. I don't know about Vorpal Weapon using against supers, bosses, and Guardians, <laughs> Guardians with their super bosses and vehicles. Uh, that one's probably a waste. This one's okay. Not my favorite. Uh, we're going to move on to Hawkmoon and Deadman's Tail. So kind of the skinny this week is the rolls are okay. Got Alloy Mag, Surplus, Polymer Grip. Uh, we've definitely seen better rolls, even in recent weeks on Hawkmoon. And the same can be said of Deadman's Tail. Not bad. Accurized rounds, snapshot sights. Those are those are pretty good perks for this weapon. Um, doesn't have Vorpal, which I quite like on this weapon. And also, this weapon's about to get nerfed, so uh, if it hasn't already. Um, so yeah, uh, overall, not nothing fantastic out of Hawkmoon or Dead Man's Tail, but also not bad. If you don't have one of these weapons or you don't have a, a role that you like, uh, you could do a lot worse than these. And then finally, we're going to talk about armor. The bad news is everyone's armor is bad this week looked at it, crunched the numbers, 
not loving it, right? Uh, Titan is a great example of that, right? So you've got some that's got spikiness, like 21 intellect here, which is pretty good. Uh, however, 59 overall stat points, 62 here. It's kind of got a similar distribution. 61 here with really even across the board. And then uh, 57. This is pretty much what it looks like for Hunters and for Warlocks as well. Uh, armor this week just didn't come through. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. And that's it, everyone. Hopefully this video is useful to some of you guys. Uh, we will be back next week to look at Xur, and hopefully he'll have some better armor to sell for us. And uh, for everything else related to Destiny 2, as we get near Lightfall here, stick with IGN.